Located about an hour from Waikiki and Honolulu, the North Shore is one of the most special places on the island. Just four and a half miles past Old Town Haleiwa sits a beautiful bay that is full of history and tradition. If you ever find yourself on the island of Oahu, take a trip up to the North Shore and spend a day at one of the island's most famous beaches, Waimea Bay. The North Shore of Oahu hasn't changed much in the past 30 years, aside from the explosion of food trucks. Local residents have opposed any new developments in this part of the island for decades and want to keep it as natural as possible. The only major hotel located on the North Shore is the Turtle Bay Hilton, which is almost at the northern tip of the island, out in the middle of nowhere. Waimea Bay is probably the most popular beach on the North Shore because of its year-round attractions. In the wintertime, the bay gets big waves that are great for body surfing and boogie boarding. Because of the bay's sandy bottom, most of the surfers stay out towards the northern point where the reef is. In the summertime, this beach transforms into a completely different place. The ocean is flat and clear, making it ideal for swimming, snorkeling, and free diving. It gets about 20 to 30 feet deep, only a few hundred feet offshore. The middle of the bay is mostly sand, but if you go to either side, there is decent snorkeling and a good chance you will encounter some turtles. Keep in mind that these turtles are protected and grabbing them or picking them up will result in a hefty fine. If you're really lucky, you may even spot the rare puppy fish that emerges from the deep ocean on occasion. The other main attraction of Waimea Bay in the summer is the giant rock that you can climb up and jump off. You can access this rock from the beach and there are different heights to jump from, ranging from 5 feet to 25 feet at the top. This rock is filled with people all summer long and is a good place to start if you're pursuing a career as a cliff diver or a human cannonball. This beach can accommodate a lot of people, way more than the parking lot can hold. Unless you get here before 9 a.m., it will be hard to find a spot if you're looking in the main parking lot. You may have to park across the street at Waimea Valley or up the hill. I also believe that you can park at the St. Peter and Paul Mission around the east side of the bay for about 10 bucks. One of my favorite things to do after spending the day at Waimea Bay is to head back to the little town of Haleiwa, grab some shave ice, and hang out for a while. I love hitting all the little surf shops here. A lot of them are one of a kind, and I could hang out in this town all day. Every year between December 1st and the last day of February is the competition window for the Eddy, a big wave surfing tournament held at Waimea Bay. In order for this event to be held, the open ocean swells must reach a minimum of 60 feet. If these conditions aren't met, then the tournament doesn't take place. The tournament is called the Eddy in memory of legendary lifeguard Eddie Aikau. Eddie was not just the first lifeguard at Waimea Bay, he was the first lifeguard for the North Shore and saved over 500 people throughout his career. Eddie was also a big wave rider and would brave the waves that often reached 30 feet or more when no one else would go out. This later became a saying that found its way onto bumper stickers and t-shirts. Eddie would go. Tragically, Eddie lost his life in March of 1978 due to his historic effort to save the crew of the capsized Hokulea off the coast of Molokai. You will find a beautiful memorial at Waimea Bay dedicated to Eddie, and there have been several documentaries made about him and his life, and I highly recommend checking those out. When it comes to food on the North Shore, 
there are a lot of options. If you want to grab some lunch and you're near Shark's Cove, there's a spot right across the street that has a couple different food trucks and a variety of food options like tacos, burritos, shrimp, and asahi bowls. This is a good place to stop if you have multiple cravings. And I have to say the food here was pretty good. My all-time favorite beach snack is the Spam Musubi. They're cheap, delicious, and filling. Just enough to hold you over until your next meal. And you can get them at any gas station, convenient, or grocery store. I'll end this video with a pro tip. There are several shave ice stands in Haleiwa, the most famous being Matsumoto's. But I always found it to be overhyped and crowded. If you walk right across the street, you will find shave ice just as good with shorter lines at Aoki's.